Hey boys and girls, Mr. McCauley here. Hey boys and girls, Mr. McCauley here. I'm going to talk to you about uh, three kinds of animals and they are either a producer, a consumer, or a decomposer. So let's take a look at these three types of animals. First of all, an organism can be any living thing, something as small as a piece of bacteria that you could only see with a microscope, or something as large as a whale. But all living things need one thing, and that is they need some energy to survive. Just like a car needs gasoline, the energy uh, we need to do our daily life uh, comes from a variety of different things. Ultimately, sunlight, though, is the ultimate source of energy for all living things on Earth. It all can be traced back to sunlight. Um, and we'll talk about that as we go through this presentation. There's three categories, though, in the food chain. There are things that produce things, things that consume things, and then, of course, animals or things, organisms that decompose things. And they all depend on each other. There's a nice balance of things being produced, consumed, and decomposed. Let's talk about the producers. Producers are organisms that use sunlight directly to make their food. So typically we're thinking about things like the plants. And they do this in a process called photosynthesis. What they do is, in a green plant, the green pigment is called chlorophyll. And that chlorophyll uh, works with the light to produce different uh, sugar molecules. And those sugar molecules are the energy that the plant uses to grow and that process is called photosynthesis. So usually on land we think about the producers as the plants. They're the plants and the trees, they take sunlight and they turn it into different molecules that later on enter the food chain. Uh, they're taking the energy from the sun and turning it into energy that can be used. But in the ocean as well there's another group of molecules, uh, organisms I'm sorry, called phytoplankton. They're like little floating plants, and they also take the energy uh, from the sun that hits the ocean. Uh, they grow, and lots of animals will then eat this phytoplankton, and that is us the start of many food chains that is inside the ocean. So all the organisms that use sunlight directly to make food are the producers, and the producers get their food and their energy from the sun. Now let's talk about consumers. Consumers are organisms that eat producers or they also eat other uh, organisms for energy. For example, we don't make our own energy. We don't work with the sun. Uh, instead, we eat plants and animals that um, that's how we get our energy. So here's some examples of consumers. Here's uh, somebody in a salad. We have the monarch butterfly caterpillar eating a plant. And of course, we have uh, a lion eating some meat. So consumers need to eat their food to get their energy. Now there's different types of consumers. There's three types. There is carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. Carnivores only eat meat, and, which is other animals. So here we have a snake, or in the other picture we have a spider eating a moth, and here is a number of animals that are really the carnivores that we think about. But herbivores only eat plants. So they're the vegetarians of the animal world. And now we find we have omnivores, which are people that will, or animals that will eat both meat and plants. They'll eat anything going, like the raccoon that I hate so much because of the way he wrecks my garbage at home. But we, we usually think about the bear, uh, pigs will eat anything, and of course a person will probably, most people will eat anything. Decomposers, these are the nature's recyclers. They're organisms that get their energy by breaking down the remains of dead organisms. And we have to be very thankful that they exist. They're not exactly the most glamorous of animals or organisms, but what they do is they're like the garbage uh, patrol. Anything dead, they start breaking it down and those nu uh, nutrients get returned back to the soil, which starts the process all over again. They're known as nature's recyclers, and they add nutrients to the soil. 
So decomposers, they take something that's dead or dying and turn it back into soil or dirt. Here's some fungus growing on some bread. Examples include mushrooms, uh, worms, bugs, things like that. Examples of decomposers are things like worms or bugs or fungus. And here's examples of bacteria and fungi that help to break down different um, dead organisms or animals. A very interesting question. What would the world look like without a decomposer? Without all the animals that are breaking down, um, we breaking down the dead animals and trees, we would have a big problem. We'd have dead things everywhere. Imagine in a forest, if you had trees that were falling and then they did not decompose, then the forest would get really full of dead trees, for example. So here is a very simple um, food chain. It starts over with the sun and some help with some water. You've got the grass that are making food for itself. And then you have and something like a bug. Let's say a primary consumer. He's number one. He is eating the producer. But then we've got secondary consumers. Those sec secondary consumers are things that eat things that eat plants. So the snake is going to eat the grasshopper. Finally, you've got someone who's maybe at the top of the food chain like a hawk. And he's eating the snake. So the energy is passing from the sun, through the grass, through the all the animals, all the way up to the hawk. But eventually, that hawk will die. And other animals or, or uh, other um, uh, decomposers will help to take the energy out of the hawk and return it back to the soil, the nutrients, by breaking it down. And the process starts all over again, like a big circle. So that's it, boys and girls. That is the story of producers, consumers, and decomposers. Good luck. Talk to you later.